And with that, we're back with the uh, Veteran and Rookie Podcast. Back on video after a couple weeks absence there. If you want to go check out what kind of stuff we got wrong or, you know, the the five points I got in the draft last week, uh, those are uh, audio uh, only on uh, Spotify and iTunes and all that just because we didn't have time to get to the video because we went to Green Bay. And ooh. you can hear us talk about that more in the last episode if you want to go back and, and give that a listen. Yeah, but to summarize it, I am a Titans fan now because I was a Packers fan because they beat the, the Cowboys, and mm-hmm. now I'm a Titans fan. So maybe you'll be a Bengals fan, maybe not. Titans are pretty sure are their favorite in that game. We'll get to that, though. We will later, later. on in the episode. This week, or la- wait, last week in football, we we will talk about... Yeah, how was the last week It in was football? interesting, to say the least. It definitely happened. For sure. Um, Josh Allen played a mid game and he owned up to it. He said, I'm a crappy quarterback. Mm-hmm. You know who played worse than a mid game? Actually, no, that wasn't this week. Josh that was a different week than Josh Allen. Oh Johnson yeah, my fault, my fault. That I think that was week. against the Jets. No, it wasn't that- one of their losses earlier. Maybe against the Dolphins. I think it was last week. I remember seeing comments though and on post about that. And, you know, it's hard it's hard to win when your quarterback plays that crap and everyone's like, Well the Jets are doing it. <laughs> Yeah. They didn't do it this week, though. No, they didn't. They uh, they lost. And it was kind of a battle of who could be the worst team. And in the good end... Good old 3-3 three three in the fourth quarter. In the end, the Jets won it out. Uh, good for them. Uh, I guess. Just, just doing all they can. The Jets to, won it out? Yeah, they. well, it was a battle of to see who could be the worst. Oh, I see. And the, the Jets... Uh, they they, they, it was they were a, definitely worse. It was a hard battle, but I think they won that and... Uh, the Patriots got a, what was it, like 95-yard punt return? I don't think it was quite that far, but, you know, like 80, 70 yards, something like that. 80, you, you, shut the fr- I Don't correct my yards. You, don't you asked lit- me. Stop. You literally asked me. No, I didn't. Have you seen the post about the coin flip for the Jets? I haven't. Somebody did back in, like, August. They flipped a coin for every game of the Jets season. Oh, yeah, you were talking about this. Undefeated so far, and it remains true after the Patriots game, so... Uh, according to the coin flip, they are going to lose against Chicago this week, and then they're not going to lose again until the last game of the regular season against Miami, probably because they're going to bench uh, Wilson for Joe Flacco or something. I hope so. Then go on a winning streak, lose to Miami because Miami's good. Um, that also includes them beating Buffalo again and Seattle. Um, and then it has them going all the way to the AFC Championship game and losing. So it's already gotten already over half the season right, which is absolutely wild yeah but the chances of it getting even one more game right is i think it's got a good shot of getting this bears game astronomical because right. i astrono- I, I, astrono- I, it's big zach wilson isn't uh, guaranteed to start this game i wouldn't be surprised if he does though and maybe he gets benched in this and and the bears get the win and then you know maybe or or, or even just joe flacco loses this game for them he's still not a great quarterback but definitely an upgrade yeah, out of nowhere, the Bears started schlanging that football and running it. Too. Yeah, they just they just can't uh, close out games. Not quite. They uh, they lost to the Falcons by three last week. Mm-hmm. They've been losing a lot of close games. They lost to the the Lions. They choked that fourteen point lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that was um, a bummer. But yeah, they've lost a lot of close games so far, but they've been a lot more entertaining to watch. They played Miami close. Uh, they put up a lot of points against Dallas, who put up even more points. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the Eagles won by one point. Yeah, that was your uh, your blowout of the week, actually, um, <laughs> which they did win by one. So there's that there. At least they didn't lose. Man, the Eagles just trying to prove me wrong. Oh, yeah. But then my uh, – let's see what my blowout of the week was. I know I won it. It was the Ravens over the Panthers, which was only 10-point difference, a 13-3. to three. I don't know what happened to Baltimore there, but – uh, ten points is is greater than one point, so I did get the victory there. That is true, you did. Um, looking at our other draft picks, we had game of the week. I had I had Vikings versus Cowboys. Bummer, man. Um, it was a good game to watch for me. Sure, but a in terms four- of of a neutral viewer or anything like that, no. I mean, they literally in the middle of the third quarter they changed it to everyone who's watching it to the Bengals Steelers game because that was way closer. And that was going back and forth. As a former Cowboys fan, I feel like the, tr- the, the, the I, I, I am now a free agent fan. You're a secondary. Secondary free agent fan. You're a Titans fan. 
It, well, I mean, it, it's up to change, and and I think the Cowboys have done good without me as a fan. There, Getting passed around like a blunt. I am, I am glad that they're doing good without me. I wish they could have done good with me, but you know, <laughs> it's man. I'm so glad they didn't play like that against the Packers. Oh, oh it would have been the worst day of my life. I'm glad it was a good game because we went to it. But exactly, they blew out. Um, Imagine being cousins. a Vikings fan isn't going to that. I saw. Imagine making the road trip that we made, and then and then losing by thirty seven. Dude, did you see some of the like they would go into the crowd and it was just people like the most depressed. It looked like everyone was a Lions fan. That's mm-hmm. how bad it looked out there. Oh, it, I mean, fair enough. I mean, that was ugly. Yeah, I saw a stat that in the last two games that they've played, uh, when when Diggs has been on JJ. He has 30 yards and, like, two catches. Diggs has been locked down this season. He has. He hasn't as many um, picks. But I he think hasn't that's given up as many big plays either. Yeah, because he's playing. Um, he's he's a, He's been a top corner this year. Yeah, he's not playing for picks anymore, I don't think. Yeah. He's playing good. Which I like still that, has, like, three or four picks. So. Which is still really, yeah, he's, he's not bad at all. the king of picks. But uh, I saw a video. It was like, hi, I'm um, – Whatever his kid's name is, he's like, oh, Trayvon yeah, yeah. Diggs is my dad. It, it was, was just, uh, like Kirk Cousins or something. No, it was, just, it, was, it was JJ. Just on oh, JJ. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Checks out. It was a bit sad after that game where they – it was a really good game against Buffalo, and then it just was not. Justin Jefferson's had a lot, a lot of good games this year. Of course, he had that catch against Buffalo, but he's also had a lot of games where he just does that. Exactly. That's what I was saying. He's had a number of – he's had like three or four of those games this year where he's like under 50 yards. Yeah, he'll get, you know, 40 points fantasy-wise, uh-huh. and then he'll get three or sometimes even less. Mm-hmm. And it's it's inconsistency. And he's still a top receiver, obviously. He's he really is, but good, he's but- – yeah, it kind of feels a tad overrated when you don't have that kind of consistency. Exactly. That's why I prefer Cup over him. I was I was considering trading Cup for him mid season. I wish I did now because Cup is out for the yeah. season. But um Barely just, got more, more points than Cup did this week. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> Cup's Cup's on the bench. But um yeah, Cup was constantly getting twenty points. I think yep. his lowest was like sixteen. And that's a really high for like most. That's a receivers. really good low. That's a really a good, good floor. He has a good floor and a really good ceiling too. I mean, he he sometimes will break off and get thirty seven points or whatever. Yeah, but he's really consistent with this thirty or this twenty five or whatever he gets, and then JJ just isn't. Yeah, he, but when he'll... he's on, he's on. Yeah, but I'd rather have somebody be consistent because Cup is still above him um, fantasy points wise, I believe. Yeah, I or at that. least he was last week, and he hasn't played. Probably still is because I was going against Justin Jefferson. He had five points, five yep. or six, something like that. And our league is a little skewed too, so he probably had less than that. Probably in, in yeah, a, for, uh, for standard standard points. league or even uh, PPR. Yeah, like a normal one. Our league is a little off, whatever it is. But yeah, Justin, um, he he did not play his best football, and when that happens, that team kind of just goes down with him. Yeah, because he's the best player on that team, and Dalvin Cook is really good as well. Um, I was looking at it the other day, and I was actually like, "Hey, they have a kind of actually a, a, a good roster." And the, but they have that Cook. was the argument I was making on the last episode with you, and you were like, "The Vikings are bad and whatever." And <laughs> I, I was, was like, just, "No, they're really good." And then they go out and put up three points. Yeah, I was just <laughs> I was mad because they beat the Bills. Yeah, that's that's what I said. I wasn't excited for that, and you're probably not happy because they're stomping the uh, Packers in the division. Oh yeah, they're gonna win that regardless. Regardless, it, um, even if like the Packers go winless or, or uh, lose win full, for, win full, yeah, lose less <laughs> for the rest of the season, which um, they won't. They're gonna lose a lot more. I think. I don't think they'll make it to the playoffs. No, I think they'll probably be like seven and ten. Yeah, I mean, good for them. The for pa- them, the yes. Chiefs Chargers game, dude. That was that was a good game. That was a good game. We all knew how it was gonna end, though. I hate that. That's it's like how it Mahomes. Ends. Mahomes went out there and was like, "Okay, yeah, he's got like what, just under two minutes or whatever." Yeah, we, way too much time. I've for him. seen this movie before. And then, and then Justin Herbert got on the field. and It was like thirty-eight seconds. I was like, "Eh, uh, uh, I, uh and maybe." Then, and then he was like, "Actually, you know what? I'm gonna throw to a Chiefs player." Well, he had to do something on that play. He had. I to. think it was like third or fourth down or something. He just chucked it up there, and it initially wasn't picked. It got tipped up into the air and then picked. Yeah, he made a prayer and it uh, it didn't go through. No, it didn't. He didn't have Praying to uh, the wrong god, I guess. Or he didn't have he, unlimited. You should pray to Mary. I don't know. Didn't have unlimited data or something. Didn't, he didn't. didn't go through. 
Maybe he just went through now. He's like, oh, dang, man. Could but yeah, that play happen? with me picking the Vikings-Cowboys, pretty much any game that you picked would have been a better game of the week. Bills-Browns, the Browns, you know, they jumped out to an early lead and kept kept it close throughout most of it. Um, Bills ended up getting the win as as expected over in Detroit, but uh, yeah, you get you get the W in that category this week. Yeah, I didn't mind watching that game. It's always kind of scary because the Bills, I don't know what their problem is, but for like half the games that they've won, they always are like behind by ten in like the first quarter mm-hmm. or something like that. I'm like, bro, because I'll always be at church and Titus or Andrew or friends will come up to me and be like, the 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 Bills. They should suck. know better than that by now. The, I but, don't talk about games like that until it's like over. Yeah, like then, then, then I'll talk because otherwise, you know, that's how you get a bunch of uh, those like freezing cold takes and whatnot. Yeah, but the games they usually lead in for a little bit, they usually lose, like uh, when they're playing the Vikings. Yeah, not my favorite game, but I choked. Yeah, how how are the standings for for the rest of the standings? Well, let's see. We'll go over the rest of the. Picks upset of the week. We both took L's. You had Cardinals over Niners. I had Texans over Commies. Um, Didn't happen either way. Fantasy player of the week. You had Justin Fields. He put up a solid twenty four points. I went Patrick Mahomes. We just talked about him. Thirty four points. So W there. And then lowest <laughs> scoring game. Saints Rams. That finished twenty seven to twenty. And then your pick Broncos Raiders was I think twenty two to sixteen. So you got the W there. So updated standings now for our little draft that we got. I'm up 21 to 15. Dang, man. Last, last week was huge. Clean sweep from yours truly. Did not appreciate that. And then for Pickums, I went 8 and 6 solid. Once again, you beat me at 9 and 5, though. Good stuff. So I am inching closer to 500. I'm 80, 83, and 1. But you're ninety seventy three and one. That's pretty good. Uh, I'd you got say. you got a ten point lead on me and seventeen point lead over a uh, five hundred. So I'm happy with that. You're not doing too shabby. Uh, everywhere I stray from you, I'm usually right. And then where we where we're wrong is usually when we agree on something. Exactly. Yeah, I was tallying up. I'm like, what the frick? <laughs> I'm I'm happy with it. I'm all right with it. It's okay. I am not. <laughs> I'm a fan of it. I'm excited to get like to that it. later. But uh, for now, we have our fun draft. Fun draft of the week. Last and, uh, week was a bit chaotic. That was the most fun draft. If, if if there's any part that people should go back and check out on Spotify or whatever, go to, I don't know, probably halfway into the episode. We had our, our friend Isaac on for the special uh, fun draft too. So three three teams building. And uh, let's just say the the... the Rules beforehand, John didn't lay them out the way that he thought he did. They were not as clear as they should have been, but they weren't <laughs> like they weren't confusing. And I, the way that they got confused was not the you, way it should it have been. It was your fault. Though. Okay, I said fantasy and like legends. So what do you think of like the Minotaur and like mm-hmm. Zeus? But then and people then, started bringing up like Spider Man and and Lightning people, the Queen. People. Benea chose and Spider-Man, and, and oh, our that friend, was beforehand because we were t- we talked about the the draft before we started recording. I wasn't listening. I was on my phone. Clearly not, because you didn't shut us down. Okay, whatever. Anyway, this week uh, there were a number there were a number of like superheroes and whatnot taken in last week's draft, and so uh, we're just going to focus fully on superheroes. I believe this week DC and Marvel, like comic specifically. Books. So no. No Buzz Lightyear this week. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't choose Lightning McQueen this week. Ah, oh, darn. I, I don't know if I'd call him a superhero, but yeah, okay. Well, I think you could choose Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, superhero. I mean, not just DC and Marvel. Any superhero you want, I suppose. Sure. Just uh, I think same rule. No, um, if your feet leave the ground, like no flying. Cut, no, no flying. Oh, think. are we drafting for an actual team again? Yeah, we're drafting for an actual team. Oh, again. okay. I think that'd be the way to do it. Okay. You can't leave the ground to catch the ball. If you're flying, you can jump, obviously. But um, don't don't be picking Superman to just have him fly up and kill everyone. Okay. And then pick the... Are we going to do a uh, coin toss? We'll do a coin flip. You want to call flip. it? I will call it. Tails never fails, so I'll pick heads. Tails. Frick. <laughs> All right. For Are we going to start with uh, quarterback? Quarterback. Yeah, let's go quarterback first. Quarterback. I mean, I went. I went here last week. I'm going here again. Captain America. He's got a fantastic arm. He ages like a fine wine, uh, and and he's a great leader. He's a leader of men. Are we doing snake here? Sure. 
Okay, I'm gonna take Tony Stark. Tony Stark. He has he has the the. They made a movie about these teams going against each other. They did, and no one won. <laughs> it was a stalemate. Avengers two point five. Avengers, sure, but uh, I think Tony could put the ball where it needs to go, and he has like little boosters or whatever. Yeah, I think the problem with Tony is. Um, Again, it, it's, it comes back to like a personality thing. I think he's a good leader, but I think once things, you know, when, when adversity strikes, how will he respond? And I feel like that's a little bit of a coin flip. I don't think so. I, I think, think sometimes he, he can really... step up, and I think sometimes he can lose it. I think he steps up for the most part, especially in his later career until the end there. Yeah, but as a rookie, I think we might see some uh, some growing pains from him. I don't think he, we're taking him as a rookie. I think we're taking him at, at their best, at their peak. Okay, where are you going for running back? Running back. Oh, I thought we were going wide receiver first. Yeah, normally running back goes next. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the Hulk for running back then. Ooh, strong, powerful strong, runner. Strong, powerful. Dude. Hurdles everybody. Can jump everybody. Um, maybe the only person that can tangle with him, take him down. The Abomination, maybe Red Hulk or someone like that. Yeah. I'm going to go in a similar direction. I'm going to go Juggernaut, though. Ooh, Juggernaut's a good one. I feel like he can... I mean, it's in the name. Yeah. Like, he's going to be running you over. There was a lot of really uh, good comics about both of them fighting in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of the times, it was a stalemate. A couple times, Hulk came up on top. A mm-hmm. couple times, um, I will say less times, Juggernaut came up on top, though. Yeah. Because he's a villain, and, and that's kind of what happens. Uh, now it's your turn for the wide receiver. Wide receiver. I mean, I hate to be sounding like a broken record here, but you're not going to find very many better receivers than Spider-Man. Peter Parker. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I have a better one. Oh, really? I do, yeah. Who do you have? Well, no, tell me why you're taking Peter Parker. Uh, he's got one of the he's one of the most agile players we've ever seen. Yeah, I can see the hands too cuz he's got the fantastic hands. He's got superb hops. Oh, and he always knows when the ball's coming his way. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to take the Flash. The Flash? Yeah. The Flash. No one outruns him. No one gets there. Good luck getting the ball to him. We're supposed to, though. Dude, calculated with my with Tony Stark, he, he's like he's going to be there in half a second. Throws the sure. ball. Lands right where it needs to be. Not sure Ends the ball's going to get there in time. No, he just he uses his little rocket propulsion. I mean, I guess so. Come on. Don't don't knock it till you try it. I like, I like my receiving choice better. I like my receiving choice better because well. he's faster. And mine's just an all-around better receiver. Yeah, but it's like the difference between Tyreek Hill and someone that isn't as fast Odell. as Odell. Yeah, it's the difference between them. Sure. Tyreek Hill gets you more yards. I mean, I if, so. if you jump up and grab the ball and get taken down at like for two yards a gain, I mean, you, what, what's, what's going on? All right, where, where are you going for? Are we doing tight end or are you doing offensive line? I don't think we did tight end last time. We didn't. Um O line. Oh, I gotta think about this for a second. It's there's a lot of good choices. I think. I think I'll take Thor though. Thor's a really strong dude. Get Thor across the line. Thor okay. across the line. He could. He's. I feel like he's aware of his surroundings. He's been around for you know a couple thousand years. He knows how to do a battle. Mm-hmm. Battle too. He can block really well. And uh, I think the way we did offensive line is that all of the people were yeah. the one person. I don't think that's a bad choice. I feel like he'd be more well suited at like a, some kind of like a linebacker or a safety position, though. Yeah, he might be, but I think he'd be good on our line. I think he'd be good on the line. Uh, for my line, I'm gonna go with someone. I mean, he he doesn't. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he's got some of the best strength. I'm going Superman. Superman. No oh. one's getting through that line of steel. I yeah, that's a better choice than mine. <laughs> Dang. I, I wasn't thinking, man. No, you weren't. All right. Defensive line. Defensive line. Can't go Superman again here. No, you can't. Um let me think. Uh I'll just is I'll I'll, I'll go Venom. Venom, okay, yeah. I like Venom there. Venom could do well. I think he as a symbiote he could get, you know, around it and be all like mm-hmm. gooey and stuff. Yeah, he's I was tempted to take Venom as my receiver, but I think Spider Man would just be an all around better at that. Mm-hmm. Um Venom's not as agile and whatnot. Um but I think he'd be really good on the D line. Yeah, okay. Uh, my defensive line, I'm gonna take Dark Side. Dark Side. You have to refresh me on him. Dark Side was like basically the dude who squared up with Superman the most. And he has he I has laser. That was Lex Luthor. No, that's like the human guy that did that. But he, oh, okay. he was an alien, and he has like his his vision goes like he has laser eyes, but they can like curve around walls and stuff. Whoa! And he was like heat seeking laser eyes. It's true, not heat seeking, eye seeking. He can look around and stuff and find oh. it. And then uh, we're doing defensive back, and then cornerback, and then safety. Corner and safety, because we don't have linebackers in this league. 
corner. Uh, I'm gonna go Quicksilver. Ooh, that's another, you're you're just going for big time speed. Big time speed. If you can sides. get to the balls, for, I I don't care who you are. If you're Spider Man or not, you're not getting to that ball first. Yeah. And I mean, unless there's like some lasers that you can throw. I mean, which Peter Peter Parker, I think, would be able to catch that. And I think I think Captain America would be able to launch. Cap can launch it for sure. But I think it's it's gonna be usually within his range. Quicksilver to be able to get there and move out of the way. Mm-hmm. Then again, uh, Parker's spider sense will be able to tell him where it is, but I feel like it's a 50-50 coin toss there. I feel like that's a good guy to put on Parker. Yeah. For corner, I'm going to go with somebody who, um, maybe not the most super of the heroes, uh, but he's got a fantastic work ethic. He works night and day. Fantastic awareness. I think no no receiver is going to be getting away from him. Taking the Batman. Okay, is just a dude. Yeah, but he's a good. He, he he's a good hero, and he's jacked as all frick. Okay, he's got good speed. Yeah. No one's getting away from him. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it's your turn still yeah, for safety. It's still my turn, and for safety, I probably should have taken him to maybe play the defensive line. So maybe you don't want uh, a D lineman out there at safety. But uh, yeah, you can mix it up later. He's he, he's relatively quick and he's big and you know i'm, I'm going thanos <laughs> thanos has your safety dude yeah all right I, it is one of the safeties of all time it's one of them he's i mean you could even put him at linebacker and i think that'd be better probably but we but weren't drafting for linebacker weren't drafting for li- <coughs> linebacker excuse me who's your safety safety uh there's a lot of good choices man i feel like four would have been like the ideal safety he would have been a really good safety, but I'm going to take Miles Morales. Miles Morales. Okay, Miles yeah. Morales. Okay, here's a couple reasons why. He he squares up with, with Superman, or not Superman, excuse me. He, he squares up with, uh, with Spider-Man really with, well. With all the other Spider-Men. Mm-hmm. He, he gets like on the same level. He has those like shocks. I feel like that would have been a better corner, though, than a safety. I think it's better to have him out there as the last resort than have him as the the first line, because my first line is pretty good. I guess I, I, really, I would switch him in Quicksilver because I think Quicksilver would be a better last resort to have. I think you might be right. I think either way, though, because both good to have in the secondary for sure. And I think that Miles Morales turning invisible is going to be really, really helpful there. Oh, yeah. Lots of picks. You think you have the last line of defense and or you, you pass the last line of defense and then you're not. And then right into the hands of Miles Morales and then he jumps over your D line and your and everybody and then. Once he'll Superman like Pick grabs six. him and slams Kills him on the ground. And just blood everywhere. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel pause like, the game for a few minutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, Superman and, and uh Dark Side are gonna be like blowing up the field. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be like uh, No one's gonna survive. <laughs> was it the Dark Knight or whatever? What's the one where Bane blows up the kind field? not yeah, kinda like that. Kinda like that. It was just a dude except with people. Re- yeah, in the Dark Knight there was a dude returning a kick and the whole field was coming down. And he just kept going. And he returned the kick, he was like, Yeah. Dedication. I mean, you guys didn't hear it. <laughs> he probably heard it. Just didn't care. He, he he had tunnel vision. Bane would have been a good uh, defensive back. Uh, I think Batman is a better defensive back than Bane. Why? Bane is also a dude. Yeah, but he's like he's like a mutant. He's he's strong. So is Batman. He's stronger than Batman. He has like the in in like the, the the have you ever seen the comics where you had like the juice stuff going into him and mm-hmm. it made him stronger? Nope. Okay. Well, I okay, whatever. I don't think we got anywhere with that draft. I feel like I think I got the dub. I don't think that's true. You've drafted Batman. Yeah. You drafted Batman to keep guard on on the Flash. But he's got Thanos there for safety help. <laughs> See how dumb you sound? Do you feel stupid? I think my offense can keep pace with yours, though, even if my defense can't do a lot. And I think I think the I can get pressure on your quarterback. It won't be able to keep... Thor's not going to be able to, to keep Venom at bay. I think he's doing a better job at keeping... Because lightning. Lightning is, is Venom's no-no moment. Like, it's noise. Yeah. The lightning's over there. Venom's up here. Yeah, he has lightning. Thor can put lightning out of his hands. Did you see um, the the... The Thor movie where he went to the arena and fought Hulk. Yeah. He didn't have to have a hammer or anything. He had lightning out of his hands. Oh, I haven't seen that movie in like five years. So. Well, he had lightning. I refuse to acknowledge that. And, and Any Ven- Marvel movies past whenever that came out. Venom's weakness is fire and noise. 
And that is both of those things. I refuse I to acknowledge. Your team. And then Thanos as the last resort, and my whole team steamrolls him. My running back kills I don't like him. That. My running back is better than him. But your defense is not going to be able to stop my it offense. It is, though. It won't. <laughs> it will. It will not. Yes, it definitely no, will. Oh, no, no. Well, Batman. regardless of what you think. Regardless, you take the L. Not true. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Football. <laughs> football time. Football time, boys. Um, let's see. For this week, who drafted first last week? I mean, we recorded only a few days ago. It shouldn't be that hard to remember. I don't know. I don't remember either. Uh, flip a coin? No, flip a coin? Sure. Okay. We had an order to it at one point. All right. You want to call it again? Heads. You got it. Where are you going? I'm going to go biggest blowout. I'm going to go Bills over Lions. Good old Thanksgiving blowout there. I think the Lions are going to keep that game a little bit closer, though. I think you're smoking crack. I mean, the... The Bills haven't been great. They've been good, but not great. And the Lions are on a three-game winning streak. I don't think the Lions are going to win. I think they'll still lose by 10-plus. But I don't know if it'll be the biggest blowout of the week. 10-plus is a blowout for me. It is, especially if I pick worse than that. And what are you going to pick that's worse than that? Um, let's see. Blowout of the week. Give me Dolphins over Texans. Okay, that's that's fair. Texans haven't been anywhere in the NFL. They they just don't exist, I guess. Uh, they play like it. Miami's been really good. I I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if they made some kind of like a Super Bowl run. Yeah, the Texans um, are 1-8-1. One, and one. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe only win one more game all year. Who's the that. sorry team that they beat? The Jaguars. <laughs> They've sucks. won nine straight against them. There's a couple of games on their schedule. I'm like, I'm picking them to win in uh, in the future, but uh, yeah, no, they're they're uh, t- tough situation for Houston. Where are you going next? Where am I going next? That's a really good question. I'm gonna go to the lowest scoring game of the week, and most of these for my picks will consist of the Denver Broncos. And this week they're playing the Carolina Panthers on their third quarterback of the season. So that's a really good. pick. I'm feeling good about this one. Yeah, lowest scoring. Um, not a bunch of lovely options here because like all the bad teams are playing a, a relatively good team, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of points could be accumulated there. At least by one team. At least by one team. So I'm gonna go with Steelers Colts. That's a, that was my second pick. That's a really good pick there because I don't think they're gonna be good because that's that's just two bad teams. It's two bad teams. They can't they have, score. They have Pickens to Pickens, and that happens like once at every blue moon. Mm-hmm. And then Jonathan Taylor's been dog. A whole year. He's been better the last couple of weeks, though, ever since they got their new coach. He's been less bad. Mm-hmm. But and then Matt Ryan's been solid. I mean, they almost pulled off the upset there. So Yeah, whatever. I'm but it was be- also a very low-scoring low game against the Eagles. Yes, it was not the most succulent game ever. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to go with Fantasy Player of the Week next. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go with your pick last week. I'm going to go with Mahomes. Okay. I think the Rams' defense has been crumbling. The yep. only two good players on the Rams are uh, are Ramsey and and Donald. Donald. Ramsey's been getting cooked all year. Ramsey's been getting cooked all year. I the think top the sp- corners are struggling this season because Jair Alexander is also having a bad year. Yeah, I think uh, there's a spotlight on him, and, and there's a lot of pressure on him to do good. And when he doesn't do good, everyone's like, you didn't do good. Mm-hmm. So I feel he's not doing as bad as everyone says, but yeah, he's but still— that, it, it comes as a corner. Yeah, he can't hold up a whole team as one corner and one defensive line player. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is being bad. And even like Aaron Donald's not bad this year, but he's definitely not what we're used to seeing. I think he's still, he's still really good. Yes, but he's... Top 10 in the league, I still oh, say. Oh, yeah. He's easily. still one of the best players in football in general. Yeah. But he's and just having a little bit of a down year. He has no help at all. Because yeah, he's because... getting like double guarded, and then there's a whole line there of other people to do something, and mm-hmm. they can't. Because they brought in some people, you know, Von Miller and those kind of guys. Um, I think a lot of them are still on the team. I'm, uh, I'm blanking on a lot of their names. I don't but... believe... Is Von Miller still on the team? No, but there's there were a few other pass rushers uh, in LA that, you know, we're eating while Donald was getting, you know, triple teamed. But I mean, their defense just hasn't been what it was expected to be. 
And I think that's fair because they lost a lot of people after the Super Bowl. A lot of good players. Lost a handful, but, I mean, that's no excuse to be as bad as they are. Yeah, and uh, and and it's just not uh, – that's kind of what happens after the Super Bowl, I guess. But Not typically. Uh, the <laughs> they're, hangover? They're, yeah, the hangover, but not this bad. Like they Maybe you'll go down. from like 13 wins to 10 wins or something. But to go from – I think they won 12 games last year to – they're probably only going to win five this year. That's mm-hmm. like one of, if not the worst Super Bowl hangover ever. Yeah, and they have no Cooper Cup, mm-hmm. and they have like I think two mid receivers that are just you know okay. And their offensive line's horrendous. Offensive line's not good. Matthew Stafford's been dealing with a lot of um, injuries Allergy. with the shoulder. He suffered multiple concussions that have knocked him out of games. Still, hurt. and even when he's been playing. <laughs> He hasn't been great. Yeah, he had an off-season elbow injury that yep. really did not help the it's team. Still, and that's still going on, I think. Yeah, because like, it's not going to help to throw a ball you know, 50 times every Sunday and, mm-hmm. and practice you know, hundreds of times a week throwing that ball. Yep. It's not going to help your elbow. So I don't think they're going to do very good. Um, Chiefs are going to win that game. Rematch of the greatest game I've ever seen. What is it? The Rams-Chiefs. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a really good game. I watched the lock and uh, change in four years, though. Yeah, because new different quarterback. Yep. I mean, honestly, not a ton has changed. It's just the Rams are <laughs> having a bad year. If this was last year, it'd probably be a really good game. Mm-hmm. Um, fantasy player of the week. I'm gonna go with the player on my fantasy team, Geno Smith. Um, really? Oh yeah. Going you, against the Raiders. Yeah, but you think he's gonna he's gonna outscore? I think he's got a good shot. Real, okay. Yeah, I mean. Who else am I supposed to take? You already took Josh Allen, so I can't take anyone going against the Lions this week. So, you know, going against taken Henry. a solid a solid player going against a uh, awful defense. I think he's got a I think he's got a good shot of putting up some big points. Yeah, you could have taken Henry, you could have taken McCaffrey, you could have taken JJ. Yep. None of them were on my list. Mm. Or you could have taken any Eagles player because they're going to destroy the Packers. No, not happening. No, not happening? Well, what's your next category? Not happening. Next category, best game of the week. I think I'm going to go there. And um, let's go titans Bengals. Yeah. I think that could be a pretty good game. It's a rematch of a playoff game last year. Um, Hopefully it's not a dud because I'm picking it for best game. I, I don't have a ton else to say. Um Bengals, Bengals need this win a lot more than Tennessee does. Mm-hmm. Tennessee's been very underrated. They've only lost one game after their 0-2 start to the season and looking like they were atrocious. Looking like how, you know, I think after two weeks, we thought the Titans were going to be what the Rams are. Because mm-hmm. they lost to the Giants, who we didn't know were good at the time, and then lost to the Bills by like 30. And I was like, oh, wow. And then... The only game they lost was against the Chiefs, and that was because they had a, their backup rookie quarterback playing. Yeah. That's a good game to pick, I think. I don't Thank you. see much else that I'd want to pick for game of the week. Yeah. I feel like Packers, Eagles, and I keep, I'm keep i so high on the Eagles apparently when they're bad. Uh-huh. They've been struggling last week, so that's why I think Green Bay might have a shot. Yeah. But we'll get to upset of the week later. Yeah, I'm not taking that one for game of the week. I... I'm tempted to go Bears Jets, but the Jets put just an awful performance. Yeah, so bad. I really hope that uh, that what's his name, the quarterback Zach Wilson. I hope I hope Wilson gets benched and they and they get a start the elite Joe Flacco. Yeah, well, elite. Yeah, elite, elite. So I don't think there's much. I'm gonna go Cowboys Giants. Okay, I was gonna say if you don't go there, I don't know what you're doing. Cowboys Giants. If I wasn't gonna go there, I was gonna go Bucks Browns because okay. the Browns have been playing a lot better than they started playing because they were doing good against the Bills. They were they were one touchdown and an extra. Or yeah, an, uh, the Browns could very easily have like six wins. Yeah, they just can't close out games. Yeah, the Bucks so, are hot right now too. So so that could have been a, my pick there, but I'm gonna go Giants Cowboys. Another uh, Thanksgiving game. Mm-hmm. Cowboys, oh my goodness, they blew out. <laughs> what happened? And then what happened to the Giants? You lost to the Lions. Don't talk about that. Stop. Not well, you're true. not a Giants fan. Oh, my fault. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you said <laughs> you. You, talking you about? said you. I took it personally. I'm oh, sorry. my bad. Well, well, the Giants have been pretty good. 
They are what is it? There's there's seven and three, I think. Seven and three, yeah, just as the Cowboys are as well. I think the Cowboys are a much better team. I think the Cowboys will be favorites for this one. I think the Giants are gonna I'm not gonna say they're gonna fall and like fall off at the end of the year and like miss the playoffs or anything. I think they're still gonna make the playoffs, but I think they'll probably only have like ten, maybe eleven wins. That's Their schedule gets a lot more difficult and and I don't know how much they can keep it up. Well, they're playing the Commanders next week and then after that, they're who playing are, the Eagles. Who are tough. And then the Commanders again. They're tough. <laughs> the, the Commanders are actually solid. They're looking to make a playoff push, I think. And then the I mean, Vikings. Six and five. And then the Vikings Colts. are pretty good. The Colts are a frisky. They're a team in the NFL. We'll, we'll see how they're doing with Jeff Saturday in a month's time. But, yeah, the the it's not going to be a cakewalk for New York. Yeah. Uh, I hope that's a good game. I think it will be. I think that'll probably be the best game on Thanksgiving because – the Texans or the Texans game is not on Thanksgiving. Excuse me. No, the the Lions and the Bills. Lions and the Bills. I think it could Which be a good game. Which for the first time in like a long time, the Lions should actually be interesting on Thanksgiving. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, and then I think the Vikings are going to get back into their old, um, you know what they're supposed to be. They're they're eight and one before they were eight and two. Yep. Eight and two Vikings are way different than eight and one Vikings. So I think the eight and one Vikings are going to come out and destroy the Patriots. And I think the Cowboys are going to beat the Giants, but it's going to be a good game. And I don't think go, the Lions are going to be good. Where are you going to go for upset of the week? Last category today. Upset of the week. Jeez, man. Um, I don't love any of these. But uh, I'm going to go with Packers over Eagles. Okay. Because of what you said, because they were, the Eagles last two weeks have not been playing the most succulently. Mm-hmm. And their big weakness is the run defense. Even mm-hmm. though they did bring in a couple defensive tackles, so they're hoping that that will maybe fix that. But Jonathan Taylor, I think, he had a solid day. I think he had like 80 yards, I think, against the Eagles. Um, and that's the thing the Packers are best at is running the ball if they decide to actually commit to it. Yeah, Aaron Jones and Quadzilla out there. Because if Philadelphia is smart, they'll probably play uh, uh, Darius Slay on Christian Watson. Probably. So in hopes to slow the rookie down. And, and then Lazard's going to be open. Hopefully. But, I mean... The Eagles have probably one of, if not the best, def- one of the best defenses in the NFL, especially secondaries. Mm-hmm. So I think that'll be a, a better game than I would have said it was last two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Then it would have been a couple weeks ago. Um, my upset of the week, we were just talking about the camera. You were just talking about this game. I'm going Patriots over Vikings. Really? I I mean, I know there's there's all the memes about like 1 p.m. Kirk Cousins or whatever, but mm-hmm. like honestly, like if he's not playing in that early afternoon window or any afternoon window in a night game, I don't know what it's it prime is. Prime time. It is prime time. It's it's Thursday night football. It's Kirk They're Cousins going against time. The, the the Patriots and uh, I I think the Patriots are going to win. I think I think the Vikings go on a little bit of a cold streak here. Luckily for them, it's not in January. Yeah, I better take their cold streak right after they. Uh... Mm-hmm. They ended Buffalo's. Mm-hmm, exactly. Think yeah. I think Buffalo. I think Philadelphia. Uh, now is the time to be in a cold streak. I think Buffalo's is over. I think they'll get maybe one or two more losses in the season, and uh, I think mm-hmm. they can they can ball out pretty hard because they're playing the Patriots and then they're playing the Jets, and then uh, and then the Dolphins. They might lose to the Dolphins. The Dolphins are, will be tough. They have already lost to the Dolphins. They will play New England and the Bears. And then Cincinnati could be tough. Yeah. So they don't have the most succulent schedule, but I think they'll do pretty good throughout it. And uh and I think they'll they'll end up pretty close to the top of their division. I think I think that the I think they're not gonna win the division. The Bills? Yeah. You think Miami's gonna take it? I think so, but they'll both be in the um playoffs. Oh, for sure. I I think Buffalo will end up winning it maybe by like a game over Miami. Yeah, because if they win this next game over Miami and finish with the same record, right? Mm-hmm. Then it will come down to a division record. Yeah, um, yeah. But I mean, if the if they lose to uh, if the Bills lose to the Jets again, like the coin flip is predicted, and they've already lost to the Jets once, you know, it, it could get interesting. Best quarterback in the league, Tua, the Jets. Ah. Joe Flacco, uh-huh. elite. Joe Flacco. We'll see, we'll see if elite. he plays. He was good when he played earlier this year. He played three games for the Jets and still leads the team in touchdown passes. 
Why do they Zach not have him starting? Seven? Because they spent the second overall pick on Zach Wilson in hopes that he'd be good, and they're trying to make him be good, but he just won't. He just won't cooperate. <laughs> yeah, this is his second year, right? Yeah, and uh, he's not not feeling it. Mm-hmm. I I don't think they should give up on him already, just because of all the potential he had coming out of college and whatnot. But also, like, I heard someone say, like, if the Jets only had three wins this year, stick with Wilson. But since you know they're actually a team that could make a playoff push, mm-hmm. you need to you you can't be for this season wasting a bunch of time developing somebody. Like, you need to if you want to Blake break your your playoff drought which was the longest active streak in the nfl how long is it 10 years Jeez. no it might be longer than that it was 20 2010 so it's 12 years so if they, if they want to break that streak uh they're gonna need him to either step up or put someone else under center him to step up or sit down because he's not gonna i don't think he's a good quarterback mm-hmm. yeah and then and then the way my biggest red flag with him, though, is like the way he just didn't take uh, responsibility. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, did did you let down the defense? Oh no, we didn't. You put up three points. He said, "No, I didn't." I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, he completed nine passes, and the Jets punted ten times. I don't know how you can do that. I can. How much they is had he getting two paid? Yards. He threw. He had two yards in the second half. How much is he getting paid? Uh, not a ton because it's a rookie deal. A couple million. I could go out there and. <laughs> Get paid a couple million to to get two yards oh, in the yeah. second half. Oh yeah, put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. What in the world, man? Oh, I just want to like go into the NFL. <laughs> he's just some random dude. He's just he did, <laughs> he's like I could do that, and then and then he's there, and he's like, oh frick, they make a movie about that. They might. Have, that's probably already a movie. Sounds like it is. Sounds like if a, not, we should make it. Reminded me of Waterboy for some reason. Yeah, it's an Adam Sandler's movie for sure. He mm-hmm. goes in the NFL and he just balls out, and then and then he's Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom yeah. Brady was just a bum off the street. He'd never I mean, played football much. before. He just went in and and did it. Zach Wilson's terrible. That's my point. <laughs> All right, pickums of the week. Pickums. Thanksgiving. Lions Bills. Lions Bills game. I think it'll be better than it would have been last year, but it's not going to be good. The Bills are going to destroy them. Oh, I thought you might go Lions. I'm going Bills as well. Why would I go Lions? I'm not <laughs> legally allowed to say Lions, and you're not legally allowed to say that the Packers will lose. Uh, the Cowboys and the Giants. I, uh, as I said Thursday earlier, afternoon. Cowboys. I think are going to take this, but I think it's going to be a good game. Hope Barkley gets back on his uh, his his game because yeah. I have him on fantasy. Well, and he had an off week because he had like 35 carries the week before. Yeah, that makes so sense. They were they weren't playing him as hard. I think. Um, so you know, maybe maybe he'll do better this week, but he's also on a short week. So, but my fantasy team guys <laughs> play him more. So yeah, I'm also gonna go Cowboys, Patriots, Vikings, and you're going Patriots. I'm right going here. Patriots. I'm gonna go Vikings because I think, I think they'll win. That's why I'm going Vikings. That's a good reason to pick them. Yeah. What what's uh what's Cousins' streak in prime time? Like really bad or something? I think he's like he's like zero and eleven or something. No, he. Last... I think he's got two wins at this point. There was a long. There was a while he was like zero and ten. Um, you know, he's probably like two and fifteen or something like that now. Yeah. It's not great. Uh, Buccaneers, Browns, Bucks, Browns. Um, I'm going Bucks. I'm going Bucks too. They're on a hot streak. The Browns are a mess. Texans, Dolphins. Texans, Dolphins giving Miami in the blowout. They're thirteen point favorites. Yeah, it's gonna. It's not gonna be a nice game to watch. No, it's gonna be the speedster. Unless you're a Dolphins fan. Yeah, I mean. If you're a Dolphins fan, it's going to be very terrific. It's going to be like last week when the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. I don't think Vikings. it'll be that severe, but I think it will be brutal. That's wild that you don't think it's going to be that severe, though. Like, I understand why you think that, but, like, the fact that the Cowboys did it to the Vikings. <laughs> yeah, but, like, <laughs> take take all the, the team names away. Think of oh, yeah, yeah, players. Yeah. I, I, I and, know, and, I know. But it's just – that I, I'm just saying that just goes to show how bad the Cowboys – beat the vikings it beat down too yes. like the vikings weren't even like playing bad they were just locked down because well, of they that. were playing bad well it wasn't because of them playing bad it was because of the defense being good i mean it was both both of them the but defense like, being good they just the got outplayed they got out coached they got out footballed yeah sucks to suck for real viking i hate the vikings Bengals Bronx, titans oh Bengals titans i'm gonna go i don't know what, what do you think i'm gonna go tennessee I won Cincinnati to win, but I'm, I'm going to go Titans. 
I'll go Bengals here. All right. I'll go Bengals here because when I think of the Titans, I think of one person, and that's all I think of. You're about to become a Bengals fan. I'm, I am about to become a Bengals fan. Uh, that's right. I'm a Titans fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Die change, hard. Can I change my answer? <laughs> oh, no, you just picked against your team. Ah, uh, dig it. Well, it's going to be my team if they win. So <laughs> my team's going to win regardless. <laughs> Maybe. Wait. Maybe. No, I might lose. Actually, yeah, because your team, you have to, that team has to win two games in a row. Otherwise, you lose. What? Because you're a Titans fan unless they lose. Yeah. So if the Bengals win, it's not your Bengals winning. <coughs> we both coughed. All right, I'm taking Bengals, whatever. Broncos, Panthers, who are you taking? Uh, Denver, uh, 10-6. to 6. Really? Low scoring game. You're taking Denver in this one? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, why are you saying Are you like taking that? Carolina? No, but I just... <laughs> I always see on my TikTok for you page, I see the the guy who's counting bathrooms in Russell Wilson's house and touchdown passes he's throwing. I love that. He's at seven touchdown passes. And still and at 12 bathrooms? Still at 12 bathrooms and stay consistent nice throughout the and, season. Nice and steady. I like it. Nice and steady. It might go up to eight. I mean, bathrooms? the bathrooms? Yeah, my touchdowns. Ah. Uh. I don't think he'll get. <laughs> That'd be hilarious <laughs> if he didn't get the same amount of bathrooms. Uh, the Panthers have been playing surprisingly well without McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. My big except thing for is last week, <laughs> they typically have played better when PJ Walker has been in there. Although that you know a couple weeks ago against Cincinnati, that was not the case. But uh, we'll see if Sam Darnold uh, can uh, can spark some life into this Panthers offense. Well, they beat the uh, Falcons twenty five fifteen. They did. So, I mean, they could beat the Broncos. The Broncos have an excellent defense, though. They do. It's just that Russell Wilson cannot play football. Well, have you seen if, if the Broncos averaged 18 points per game, they'd be like 8-2 and two right now? Yep. Yeah. Because of their defense. Yep. It's uh, it's kind of like the Cowboys story where it's like their defense is really good, but they've been playing offense. It's kind of the same thing, a, a similar defense uh, as... Kind of. Shut up. Look, it's, they have a similar... Defense in the way that it's very good. And yeah, it's, but it's allowing the Cowboys a offense of points. actually does stuff. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the Cow- they could be like the Cowboys. Oh, okay. They're saying the Cowboys are struggling. Like, what are you talking the about? The Cowboys are 0 and 15. <laughs> That's how they're going to end the season. They're not going to play. So we're both going games. Broncos. I guess. Go Panthers. You should go Panthers. I'm going to go Panthers. You're going to do it? Yeah, I'll go Panthers. Okay. Screw you. You're going Panthers. Dang it. That's Frick, that means they're going to win. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jair's bets. Who? Bears Jets. Bears Jets. Again, the J doesn't make a B sound. Bears Jets. Bears Jets. Uh, give me the Bears. I'm not going to go against the coin. I'm also going to take the Bears because I think they're a good team now. And by I think they're a good team, I like I think Justin Herbert. I think they're a better team Justin that Fields. I like can't Justin close Fields. games. But I, like Justin I hope Fields. they can this time. Well, because of the to- coin coin toss. Yep. I hope the coin fl- toss. I can't speak. Oh, my goodness. I hope the coin toss is wrong because that means it might be wrong later and then the Bills might be able to beat them. <laughs> no, the Bills don't have a shot against the coin. I don't want to hear that, please. Commanders, Falcons. Um, I'm going to go commies here. Yeah, I'm going commanders as well. Yeah, because the Falcons are five and six, and the Commanders are six and five. Imagine the Commanders being seven and five. That's kind of a weird. They thought. might make the playoffs. What the heck? <laughs> Stop saying words. I don't <laughs> like that thought. That'd, oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, whatever. I'm taking commies. Uh, Jags, Ravens. Give me Ravens. Hopefully, they actually show up this week, though. I'm thinking the same thing because Jags have what two wins, three wins, three and seven. Ravens are seven and three. Ravens could easily be ten and zero. Oh. Yeah, they easily could be ten and zero, oh, but uh, <laughs> twenty point leads, and they just blew them all. Yep, which is crazy. That's the only games that they've lost. So, like Baltimore is actually like, if they can hold on to a few more 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 of those wins, uh, Super Bowl question mark. Their defense keeps quitting halfway through the game. Yeah, their defense hasn't been great, which is you know Baltimore's known for their defense. So, uh, but but Lamar is still very good. Pay the man. Hey, the man. What's the next game? Chargers, Cardinals. Chargers, Cardinals. Two disappointing teams so far. Five and five, yeah. four and seven. The Retardinals. That's how they've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm going Chargers. I'm also going Chargers. 
I don't think Justin Herbert is as good of a quarterback as everyone gives him credit for. Yeah, he's been struggling this year. I saw somebody giving commentary on it, and they were saying that he he's like an Instagram quarterback. He makes those really big throws or really pretty throws or fancy whatever to make it look good for Instagram, and they can't really close on games or can't really. Yeah, well, it's just been this year though, because like typically, like in the last two years, he's been outstanding, and he's just hasn't been the best. He's still been good, uh, but. A lot of it has been on him. His overall record is about half and half, though, for wins and losses. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? So Chargers moment. Chargers moment for sure. I'm still taking Chargers, though. Yep. I don't think Hopkins can carry this whole team. Yeah, especially if Murray's still out. And <laughs> Murray's out with an injury. <laughs> He's playing COD. I don't blame him. I downloaded COD, too. It's pretty fun. Oh, okay. I mean, I do blame him. It's I'm not a professional quarterback. so <laughs> Raiders, Seahawks. Raiders, Seahawks. Seahawks in an absolute blowout. Yes, please, with uh, eight touchdowns from Geno Smith. Yeah. I feel like I went against my um, blowout of the week, maybe. or like Not yet, because we're at Rams-Chiefs. Rams-Chiefs. Oh, yes. Okay. Chiefs, obviously. Okay, yes, same. What was my upset? I can't remember. Your upset was... Yeah. Um, Something. Frick. Did I, did I go against it? Oh, it was Packers-Eagles. That's, not, that's Sunday night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Saints 49ers. Saints Niners. I think the Niners are – I think they're looking up that Super Bowl. They're, I think the Niners are infinitely better than the Saints. Give me San Francisco. Obviously. The Niners are – they're they're eyeing that Super Bowl. They're coming mm-hmm. for it. They're a Super Bowl contender Garoppolo is sure. like, this is my team now. Mm-hmm. Um, he's come into it. He's, he's a lot better than he was when he stepped out of the end zone and threw a pick six. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's he's been really good. He's been coming into it. McCaffrey. Especially and, after Monday night. Yeah, McCaffrey's an excellent um, – Him excellent and Debo, adult. really, really good to have next to each other It's there. kind of weird because you like they blur the line between running back and, and uh, wide receiver. Mm-hmm. They both line up at different positions, and they have a bunch of other good um, – they have another good wide receiver. can't remember his name. Um, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, Ayuk, yeah. And then they have a good running back as well who's just a running back. Can't remember his name. Uh, Elijah Mitchell. It might be Mitchell. I think it is. Uh, Just got back from injury. Yeah, but uh, they have a pretty stacked team. Their defense is swell this year. Uh, It's just that Jimmy Garoppolo is not the best quarterback in the league. Yeah. But he played good last night. He did. And real good last night. All he has to do is kind of not make a bunch of mistakes for him to win. Yeah, I mean, because, like, his supporting cast is very supporting. It is, especially, you know, with all the guys we just mentioned and Kittle. And Kittle's really good. I forgot about Kittle. Sunday Kittle had two touchdowns last night. He did. Sunday night football. I'm going to be watching this game with an Eagles fan, David, who we're actually going to have on the show next week. Yeah, buddy. Packers versus Eagles. You're taking Packers in your upset of the week. I'm taking Packers because I think they have a chance. Yeah, go Pack, I go, guess. Go Packers. Go Packers, go. I have a cheese hat. No, you don't. Banana has a cheese hat that, I, that you I'm wore. looking at right now. And then Monday night. Lowest scoring game of the week, possibly. I don't blame you. Steelers, Colts. I don't like really want either of these teams to win. I don't think either of them will. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the Steelers. These are both terrible teams, and I hate both of them. Yeah, I'm gonna also go Steelers just because uh, I want to. And Pickin, Pickens, Pickin, Pickens. They both have the same last name. Pickett right? and Pickens. Pickett and Pickens. Pickett's the quarterback. Quarterback. Pickens is the guy who had that really nice one-handed catch. Mm-hmm. It was an Odell moment, but not quite as good. Um, you can just remember them by their hands. Yeah, uh, one one-handed, small hands. One made a one-handed catch. Yeah, so I think they'll win because Pickin or whatever his name is, whoever catches it, Pickens is a pretty good receiver, and I don't really see yeah, a lot of. They talent. can get the ball to him. They can get the ball to him, and he I hasn't don't been doing a lot this year because he haven't got the ball to him. Yeah, I don't see a lot of talent on either of these teams really. I mean, yeah, that's just me not really knowing a lot of people, but I just, I mean, JT obviously, but mm-hmm. he might be popping off later in the season again because that's what he did last year. Yeah, but who knows? The Colts need to win this game if they want any kind of a shot. They're four six and one. They're gonna have to win out, um, which I don't think is gonna happen. But uh, they've looked better ever since they did fire Frank Wright, who I think is still a good coach and is gonna be coaching somewhere. Uh, next season, but you know uh, their new coach has given them a little bit of a spark of life. Mm-hmm. They do still have to play Pittsburgh, obviously, then Dallas before really late by. Then they got the Vikings, the Chargers, the Giants. Tough, tough. Finish schedule. out the season against the Texans, but 
I mean, if they get to the playoffs that's through that, four, that's four possible playoff teams right there. If they get through the playoffs through that, they really, really earned it, and they are Super Bowl contenders if they make it through that. Yeah, if they can, because that's that's a playoff run, pretty much. Yep. Because to make the playoffs, you pretty or to make the Super Bowl and win it, you have to win four playoff games, unless you get a bye. So, uh, yeah, if if they can pull off that kind of a stretch, that'd be impressive. Don't think they will. Uh, I don't think they I don't will think either. they'll win too many more games the rest of the season. Maybe four, four more games. That feels a little generous, but. Oh wait, we're on week ten. Uh, three more games. We're on too? week twelve. Well, oh my goodness! I, just, I know it flies by. Yeah, maybe two more games. I'm thinking for the yep. Colts. If they're maybe lucky, they beat the Steelers. Maybe they beat the Texans, and maybe they pull off an upset against one of those playoff teams. Yeah, good for them if they do that. Good for them. Indeed. But I don't think they will. Uh, that's it, right? That's, that's all, it that's for all that's stuff. it for the episode. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Leave a review on the. Uh, all the places, all the places you can iTunes leave and Spotify. Comment too, if it's leave a YouTube. comment on the tube, and uh, we'll see you guys next week.